Right, today we're going to take a look at the Casio FH100. I recommend this camera a lot because I really like it. It's pretty much a multi-function camera. It's great for taking video of birthdays and graduations and also for instructors who want to take some high frame rate video, golf swings, baseball, tennis, whatever you use it for. Today we'll talk about how to set the settings to be able to take advantage of the uh, high frame rate video. Uh, first thing we want to do is make sure that the dial on the top of the camera is set to S. S puts the camera in the shutter priority mode and uh, that's the mode we want to get it into to make sure that when you do take your videos that we don't get blurry shafts. Uh, a lot of people call me after they buy this camera and uh, want to know uh, why they have blurry pictures, blurry high-speed pictures. And one of the things we want to make sure is that the camera is in the shutter priority mode. So the knob should be on the S uh, on the top right of the camera. Second thing is you've got a little lever here that determines if the camera is in the HD mode or in the high frame rate mode and that's the uh, on the back of the camera in the upper right hand corner you've got a little lever here that uh, goes around the outside of the red recording button and you can see there's two settings there there's one that says HS which is high speed a high frame rate and then the uh, one at the at the bottom here is for HD video if you, again if you're doing birthdays and graduations HD video is great but you want to take this little lever and click it down so that we put it in the uh, high frame rate mode. Okay, then we want to make sure if we hit the menu button down here, we get our on-screen menu and the quality setting uh, for the camera here. You see that um, we've got a couple settings here. You can use the uh, the ring here, the down arrow on the ring, to set these settings. The high speed setting it happens to be on 240 frames a second. Uh, ideally, if you're going to use this camera with the V1 software, uh, 120 frames per second works better. You can see the frame size there, it says 640 by 480. That fits more closely into the video window that uh, V1 uses. If you switch to 240, you'll see that the frame size now is only 448 by 336. And what will happen when you import these clips into V1 is as it expands those to fit the video window the uh, the clips will be not necessarily blurry but a little pixelated so the edges the the lines between uh, body and background will get a little pixelated so I recommend that you keep the setting at 120 FPS okay so when you get that you can just go ahead down here and hit the menu button and let's see let's go ahead and change that to 120 go ahead and hit the set button change that to 120 and now what will happen is that when you hit the set button again which is the middle button there now you're going to get a, another couple of parameters here to set which is the shutter speed for high frame rate and if you use the right and left arrows on the ring you can change your shutter speed on a bright sunny day you can go all the way to one two thousandth if the uh, if it's a little overcast or you happen to be inside you might have to turn the shutter down until your picture becomes bright enough that it's not too uh, not too grainy and I usually go ahead and set the shutter the same on both of these so if you want to set it at 2000, I'd go ahead and set it at 2000. And then when you're done again, just hit the set button on the ring. And now we're back to our video window here. And you can see the shutter. We got our S right there. And right next to that, the shutter speed is 1 2000th. Okay. So we again, we just review a little bit. We have the ring or the uh, dial at the top right of the camera set on S for shutter priority. We have the little lever here set on HS. That's uh, HD video. That's HS for high frame rate. If you hit the menu button, 
you should see that under the quality tab our high speed frame rate is set at 120 and on the back of the display you can see the shutter speed is 1 2000th in order to change that just hit the set button and you should be able to adjust your shutter speed using the right and left arrows on the ring so we'll leave that at 2000 okay then go ahead and hit that middle set button again and now you should be ready to go so the video record button is the one on the top right of the back of the camera with the little red dot so when you hit that button the camera will go into the recording mode see now it's recording hit that button again to stop in order to play the videos back you've got the green button on the back of the camera go ahead and hit the green button and now you're going to be able to scroll through your videos and pictures that you've taken in order to play press that set button and now I'm actually playing that little video that I just took there a second ago hit the set button again to stop and hit the red button to go back into the record mode okay so that's how you get this camera set to use with the V1 software high speed video high frame rate video with uh, fast shutter speed so again just to review the dial on the top right of the camera should be set to S the lever around the record button should be set to HS for high speed video hit your menu button and in your settings the quality settings should be the HS speed should be 120 frames per second hit that again to get rid of that and then your shutter speed shows up on the display in the back of the camera in order to change that set button right left arrows change speed set button sets it should be ready to go and press the red button to record alright that's it uh, next time we'll take a look at the um, the FH20 which is the uh, mid-size Casio camera uh, we'll take a look at that one next time and make sure everybody gets the settings right on that one okay great thanks